Okay, we just made a little video on the electronics of the boat. When I was doing a little research on seven marine engines, I saw lots of information out there about the engines themselves, but very little information on the controls and the electronics. So I shot a little video I just posted about the electronics. I thought I'd show you a little about the controls. Um, these are the ZF controls that uh, seven marines decided to pair with their system. Really intuitive, really ergonomic, much better than anything I've seen with Mercury or Yamaha. Those are just really old school, clunky, even the new the new ones that Mercury is producing now just don't feel this way. These are very, very, very smooth. They um, they basically have in uh, detents so that when you put it into gear, you can feel it latch into the, the you know uh, the, the out of neutral spot, shall I say? And then, then they're very, very smooth, all kind of fly-by wire stuff. Um, they are naturally both uh, control the left and right engines. However, they do have a nice little uh, one lever mode that allows you to put it into one lever. Um, and the way you basically do that, it's very interesting. You actually put them both into gear while the boat's underway. And what you do is you select the mode switch, and when you get to one lever, you press the, and hold the control button until it flashes. Now what this is saying to you is go ahead and pick which lever you want to use. So the next lever you push forward is now the one lever that will control both throttles. This, this, this throttle here is actually dead. You push it out of the way. So a lot of times when I run the boat, I'll put it in one lever mode and I'll actually place my hand here so I can easily control the both both engines and they'll synchronize. Um, when, when the boat's a bit bumpy or there's a bit of a chop and wave out, you can control both, temper, both uh, engines really easily. Or if you have to come to a stop, for example, and you bring the boat maybe to idle, um, you can then pick both engines back up and get back underway. So really intuitive, uh, really nice thing that you can actually pick either one you want. When you pull them back into neutral, you'll see the one lever goes away and you're now back into into neutral and if you go back in you're controlling the bolt independently again you have to reset one lever mode um, of course easy docking allows you to um, sort of uh, slow down the throttle itself so they won't be as sensitive you can put an easy docking mode if you push them all the way forward you're going to get about 10 miles an hour out of the boat um, but it allows you to do, do a little bit little more aggressive maneuvers without you know ripping the boat um, out from underneath you because the engines are quite powerful. Auto troll does allow you to set uh, different troll settings so that you can put it into a troll mode. It kind of bleeds off a little bit of uh, of uh, the throttle as well, so it allows you to put it into a mode where it will keep uh, you know seven knots or five knots or whatever you want it to have um, just by pushing it forward. Very similar to what Easy Docking does. And of course, warm up does what you expect. It basically disengages the transmission, so the engine is running but the prop is not. So I put it in warm up mode. I could go ahead and move an engine up, and then the en engine would be. RPMs would be high, but of course it wouldn't be spinning the prop at all. Um, so that's how the controls work. They're pretty simple, uh, very, very clean, very ergonomic. They're um, really nice underway, uh, nice little size, don't take up a lot of room on the dash. Um, the second set is the joystick system. Joystick system is also by ZF, and it's um, very intuitive as well. So what happens is you pull the boat into neutral, like this is now, both green lights, you press and hold the button. When you do that, there's actually a green light up here, I'm not sure you can see it green light up here is now, now in joystick mode. And so what happens is as you move the joystick left, of course, the boat will go left. It doesn't do that by turning the engines like Yamaha and Mercury does. It does that by changing the throttle, of course, the port and starboard engines, and using the bow thrusters to move the boat sideways. So it's not quite as effective as some of the systems that actually turn the engines, but given the power that's in, the, in these engines and the speed of this boat, you really don't want to have two engines that are independent and you want to have them tied together by a tie bar. So that's one of the advantages of using the system is you can have high performance engines without having them actually separate and instead have uh, tie bars to hold them both together and hold them both straight. So um, it doesn't use uh, turning the engines, but it is a pretty re reasonably effective and I have uh, docked quite a few times with it in marinas and against the current and such by just pushing the joystick left and right to um, operate the boat left and right. If, if of course you rotate the top of the uh, knob, the boat will rotate and it rotates via the engines as well by you know, reverse thrusting, uh, let's say the port or the starboard and, and forward thrusting the other, other. The boat of course turns very effectively that way. You can of course pull the joystick back and it will move the boat backwards and push the joystick forward and move it forward. And of course you can do combinations, move it forward and rotate for example, which will go ahead and move the boat forward but also turn the boat so you can kind of control and maneuver the whole boat this way. Um, and of course you can do you know, multiple moves by pushing sideways and forward a bit. The boat will move sideways and forward. Now it isn't uh, as quick as you might want to expect. You know, you're used to maybe you know, pushing forward like a game controller on an Xbox or something like that. It doesn't work quite work that way. You got to be a little, little more diligent about it and kind of be ahead of the boat. So when you do push it forward, you want to make sure you, you do a little ahead of time and, and that not, not just quickly slam it back into reverse. You want to let it come back in the neutral a second, 
kind of spool down and then pull, pull it back. And so it'll be very gentle and very deliberate, but not, um, not very forceful of, uh, you know, quick and you know, aggressive movements. Um, but it does work really quite well. Um, however, there have been a couple situations where uh, it, it, isn't, it, it is fully customizable and you can get it set up to any speed you want. I have mine pretty slow, so it starts off actually a little bit of pressure will actually move the boat forward a little bit. A lot of pressure will move the board forward a little much quicker. However, I've had had some current situations where uh, I'm trying to move the boat sideways, for example, and I just wouldn't really push against it. And so at which point, if I put, put the gears back into gear, the control system now disengages and I'm back into gear. Use the uh, the throttles um, this way to uh, to dock the boat. Sometimes it's a little bit easier, especially now when the boat is in gear. So this now becomes your bow thruster only, and doesn't control the engine. So if you uh, are in gear, you can use this for the bow thrusters. And if I were to put it back in neutral without it being engaged, this is actually the bow thrusters. The only time this is engaged is when I push and hold the button, and the control light actually lights up in the upper top left hand corner, which again I think might be out of camera shot here. Uh, so in any event, that's how the controls work. Uh, really, really nice, very ergonomic, very smooth, all fly-by-wire, um, you know, highly recommend it. Again, Seven Marine isn't just about the engines. The engines are absolutely fantastic. The service of the company is fantastic. But they really put a whole package together with the electronics and the control systems, uh, you know, being very ergonomic. And they really pushed, I think, the envelope for, um, you know, for outboard engines. I think Mercury and, and Yamaha have a lot of catch-up to do. Hope this is going well. Hope you guys are going to enjoy the New Year's. I'm going to post these videos up there. If you have any questions, just shoot me some uh, some post up online and uh, maybe I'll pick up the next video and see you guys then.